When the Archdiocese of New Orleans filed Chapter 11 in 2020, they said the bankruptcy proceedings would only affect their administrative offices. Three years later, however, those under the Archdiocese umbrella are being asked to use their rainy day funds. It's 9 a.m. on a Sunday morning. Locals and tourists make their way to the iconic St. Louis Cathedral, the seat of the Archdiocese of New Orleans. As they seek peace through prayer inside the country's oldest cathedral, many of these attendees come with a heavy heart. The Archdiocese is struggling under payments owed to victims of sex abuse, estimated to exceed $100 million. The newest controversy has to do with who will end up paying for the hundreds of lawsuits filed against the Archdiocese. The Archdiocese of New Orleans says when they originally filed their bankruptcy claim in 2020, they were only facing 30 abuse claims. Today, they're facing 500. In a letter posted on the Archdiocese of New Orleans website, Archbishop Gregory Amend said that in 2020, when the Archdiocese filed for bankruptcy, attorneys told him that it would only impact the Archdiocese administrative offices and not parishes, schools, or ministries. Three years later, he admits that's just not true anymore. A change in Louisiana law allowed a wider window to file abuse claims, and an unexpected number of people did. The church says insurance and selling some of the archdiocese's 1,400 properties isn't going to cover costs now, and people must contribute. It's a bit of a myth to think that the diocese has this kind of storehouse of wealth that that, that is available to pay these creditors. You can see from what's happening in the Archdiocese of New Orleans that it doesn't. And that in order to pay these claims, they're gonna to have to ask current Catholics who had nothing to do with it, who could not have stopped it even if they had a chance and they never did. Penn State bankruptcy professor Marie T. Riley says many other Catholic institutions have relied on parishioners to help pay claims, including in New York State, New Jersey, and Oakland, California. Six of the eight dioceses in New York State have filed for bankruptcy in the wake of um, statute of limitations reform legislation in New York. Um, the Diocese of Camden, New Jersey, it, it has similarly filed for relief in the wake of statute of limitations reform legislation there. Outside Sunday Mass at St. Dominic in New Orleans, parishioners tried to make sense of it all. It was very disappointing, and, and I know a lot of people are very discouraged. Um, my only thoughts are is that we have to remember our faith is rooted in God, and humans are not perfect. They make a lot of mistakes, and unfortunately this one didn't go very well with the whole archdiocese. Do you think it's fair that the parishioners may have to come out of pocket for this? I think um, what's important for the parishioners is that what they come out of pocket with or for will be simply to maintain their own parishes. You know, we get to the church to do good things, so we just hope that the bankruptcy judge and whoever else is running this is going to do the right thing and give the money to whoever deserves it. According to the Archdiocese of New Orleans website, there are over 60 Catholic schools under the Archdiocese umbrella. Most of those schools are located in Orleans Parish or neighboring parishes. Tammy Eswick, Scripps News, New Orleans.